Today is the start of rifle hunting season in Kansas, which means big business for the area. KOAM's Tim Spears explains. Got Just last year, Jimmy Greer bagged a 181-inch uh, buck. I mean, I mean, you're talking, you know, I mean, that's massive, very massive. After one day of hunting, he's still waiting for a repeat performance. I've seen some decent bucks, nothing I wanted to shoot, but some quite a few. I've seen probably six, eight bucks today. He traveled to the Timber Hills Lake Ranch in Mapleton, Kansas, all the way from his home, Louisiana, just to hunt. And he's not the only one to make the pilgrimage. Ranch manager Aaron Gibson and says hunters from Minnesota, Mississippi, and elsewhere have made their way to southeast Kansas. Um, but we get people from all around the United States, all the, all the different states, and occasionally we get people from other uh, countries as well. All because of the state's reputation for breeding trophy bucks. We have a lot of uh, a lot of big deer, uh, antler-wise as well as body-wise, um, and of course the bigger the antlers, the uh, more popular it is with hunters. Here in the Midwest, we've got uh, very productive soils and, and good habitat, so the the white-tailed deer um, grow large antlers. Kansas is probably top three in the United States to kill big bucks, so that's why most hunters come here. Four years in a row we've had bucks that were scored over 200 inches uh, harvested off our property, which is a pretty big feat in itself. And it's numbers like that which keep attracting hunters, like Greer. Oh, I hope I get a big one. In Kansas, Tim Spears, KOEM News. A 2013 report from the National Shooting Sports Foundation estimated more than 112,000 non-resident hunters in Kansas in a year. That's the fourth highest in the nation, with all hunting activities generating more than $600 million in economic impact.